Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up gamers? Welcome back to another Madden 19 post patch video. They just dropped a new patch today. Today I am showcasing my offense that I actually just made custom for one of my subscribers. So shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my Patreon members, especially if you are part of my best friend tier or higher. So you can see me hitting them with a high point pass in the back of the end zone. But today we're gonna talk about defense. One key thing after playing three games post patch is you always want to make sure that you have at least four, but it's better if you have five people blitzing the quarterback at all times. Ever since they did the contain, you want to make sure that you got four to five people. Also, 3-4 is a pretty decent defense, but 4-3 is the move right now post patch. And if you need any help with 4-3 defenses, I got about four post patch blitzes and real good coverage we also got the db fire blitz that you can see right here on the screen nobody can pick up that cornerback over there because of how the setup is and all this is being updated in the ebook the link is in the description for patreon offense ebook defensive ebook I got some glitchy stuff in there. We're doing offense all this week, all next week. We're going to drop about four or five defensive updates. So if you get any ebook, it's free updates. So you don't have to worry about anything. Every time a patch comes out, there will be an update. But you can see me with a nice pick six right there. Now let's get back to what we was talking about post patch. It feels a little different. It's easier to stop the runs. I know that they were supposed to have tweak the run blocking, but it seems like it's easier to stop the runs because now shooting gaps is way OP. If they run 3-4 defense, a lot of people do these turbos straight through the gap. And on 4-3, it's even easier because on 4-3, you got your automatic pressure, two big guys, you can put two linebackers on the outside, and then all you need is a loop and blitz. You can see my guy is running for his life every single play not having to contain on so he won't be able to stop the quarterback right away so people are trying to take advantage of that but the way that I got my blitz set up you always have to move to the outside and all you are doing is hurting yourself whenever you run out of the pocket you are hurting yourself and when I bring that guy in right away that makes the initial pressure another key for setting up blitzes is bring your safeties down for some reason if you bring your safeties in three to four yards it helps with any kind of looping blitz if you need any help with setups let me know in the comment section grab the ebooks hit me up anytime and i'll take care of y'all let's go 